Hello, my name is Bryce Heventhal and I'm a certified SOLIDWORKS application engineer from Go Engineer. Today's quick tips video is going to cover a couple of tricks in SOLIDWORKS Composer. This video will be covering detailed views in both the high resolution workshop as well as the technical illustration workshop and I'll be concluding this video with a little trick when capturing a picture in 2D from the digger tool. So the first thing we're going to do is create a detail view using our high resolution image workshop. So I'll come up to our workshop tab and select the high resolution image workshop and it's going to open it up over here on the right side. So to turn on the detail view all you have to do is select this checkbox right here but before we do that I'm going to go ahead and find a component that we're going to create a detail view with. So I'm going to do it with one of these connectors in here. I think it's this. We're going to do this guy and I'll go ahead and hide the rest of these actors so all the other actors are hidden now so we'll go ahead and create the detail view using this connector so you, it creates this little box you could go ahead and move it um, in case you don't want a circular detail view you could change it to a rectangle if you want to but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as a circle and you could resize it using the drag handles out here or reposition it so what I'll do is go ahead and hit create and you can go ahead and play with a couple of these other properties if you want to change the dots per inch or how many pixels are used or you could turn on anti-aliasing but we'll go ahead and leave it at the default and we'll go ahead and turn off our detail view by selecting this X so for uh, right now I don't need to see this detail view anymore so I'll go ahead and hide it and we'll turn it back on in a couple minutes so let's go ahead and turn all the actors back on so I'll scroll to the top and we got them all back on so this time I'll use a detail view with a technical illustration workshop so I'm gonna select another component so we're just looking at another one and I'll hide the rest so we're gonna select that Molex looks like a 20 pin connector um, this time we're gonna use a technical illustration workshop though so this one right here just a side note though we can also access different workshops by just selecting this one and then this time we'll go to technical illustration same exact result as clicking this button over here. So this time we'll go ahead and select the detail view. Sim very very similar workflow except we get a couple different properties. So I'll go ahead and reposition this just exactly how I want it and then we'll go ahead and hit create. These properties are more um, with scalable vector graphics so you could change the line width if you wanted to but I like how it looks at the default so we'll go ahead and leave it. So let's go ahead and turn all these components back on and there's all our actors. I'll hide this actor so we can see the inside of this. And let's go ahead and reposition this a little bit. And we'll turn on that first one I created. So here we go. I'll position this. So we have two different detail views that we created. The main difference between these two detail views is one was created with the high resolution image workshop. That's this one down here. This is pixel based. It's your raster graphic image. Um, if I zoom in, you'll see the pixelation. This one over here was created with our technical illustration workshop. This one is scalable vector graphics. So if I zoom in, you see these are um, created with lines and uh, not um, pixels. So what we could do now is go ahead and create a view and I'll call this my uh, detail view. So now what we're going to do is create an image with our digger tool. So I'm back on my cover um, view right here so I turn on my high resolution image workshop over here as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is turn on our digger tool. That could either be turned on by pressing this button here or the space bar. So the main advantage of view th using this over detail views is we get this functionality. We could do cutting planes, x-rays, or even onion skin. And you can see I have a nice little x-ray digger tool image here. So I'm going to go ahead and create that picture. But if you look at it, the quality of this um, image that we just created isn't that good. That's because it uses whatever is the active profile for the high resolution image workshop. So if you look, these uh, DPI might be a little bit low and the pixels might be a little bit low. So let's go ahead and do a side by side comparison to see the difference. So I'll move that one over here and I'll turn on the digger tool again and this time I'll go ahead and use a different profile. So I'm gonna go ahead and say I want to create a new profile. I'll call this one digger and we'll go ahead and increase the dots per inch and the pixels will knock it way up 
and we'll even knock the quality up make it the file size incredibly big and we'll go ahead and turn on anti-aliasing so our edges are a lot better so once I create this picture it is going to take a little bit longer but the quality is going to be a lot better so here we go and now I'll zoom in and show you the difference if you look at this one over here you could see that those components are very visible and the edges are nice and clear if you look over here it's very blurry and I can't see what's going on so if you're going to be using the digger tool a lot I would suggest creating a profile like like this one just for the digger tool this has been Bryce Hementhal from Go Engineer I hope you enjoyed this video have a good day mm -hmm.